historically in the timeline, you know, uh, of, of Israel's pop offness, uh, you know, uh, Templar always said, you know, going from David to David in the timeline type of thing seems to be a connecting point where now you need this function. Now the righteous flock is becoming righteous. Now you need a shepherd. But a righteous flock or a flock that's not righteous, out of code, not observing, is in no need of a shepherd. Back to Hosea 3. You've gone a long time without a king, right? So just thinking about this Vesca Pisces, whatever they call it, flower of life. And, you know, in terms of the cold, like we just got, in terms of, you know, uh, Hosea 3. you go gone a long time without a car. And then one day you're going to return. Is this returning point? Is this returning point one of those intersections of not a straight line? Even when you look at the ancient town, it wasn't just two straight lines per se. You know, it was always kind of like a curvy situation. It was always a wave, you know what I mean? We're just digging on it. Right, so we've been a harlot. A well, said, "Hey, go love a, a woman beloved of her friend and adulteress, even as a wife loves the children of Israel. Well, they turn into other gods, most high over everything." Right, rule number one. Right, and love cakes of raisins because we was baking those raisins to the queen, their queen, hijack mother of heaven, yada yada. So. So I bought her to me for 15 pieces of silver and a homer of barley and a half homer of barley. And I said unto her, thou shalt sit solitary for me many days. So <laughs> you, since you're such a bad flock, you don't need a shepherd. You don't need a king. You don't need your priestly thing. You don't need your land. <laughs> you're in solitary. Can't nobody help you. You're not going to be nobody's harlot no more. But they, it was to say, thou shalt sit solitary for me many days. Thou shalt not play the harlot and thou shalt not be any man's wife. It's like you on time out. Nah, man. <laughs> Nor will I be yours. Verse four, for the children of Israel, Asherah shall sit solitary many days without a king, without a prince. You don't know what your kingdom feels like you don't know that you're royals but here comes this intersection again right without sacrifice without pillar without your ephod without teraphim verse 5 and afterwards shall the children of israel return see the christians don't see this <laughs> that israel returns as israel not as christians we return as our tribe even in the book of revelations at the end these 144,000 are going through 12 gates for the 12 tribes of Israel. So Israel returns. So why not tell Israel that they're Israel right now? Why baptize them into Christianity if Israel's just going to return and be tribal and go through their gates? Why do you have to put them under Jesus? Why can't we return and keep the code? Why they got to return and worship Jesus? Why can't we return and seek the creator? And to seek the creator, to desire the creator, is to desire the law, statute, commandments of the creator. Which means Exodus 20. Rule number one, no power before me. Stop being the harlot, right? Stop going after these other gods. Because you turn unto these other gods. But you're going to return. That's the intersection point. Seek the creator first. Which means you keep the code. So now there's a righteous flock. And now. <coughs> Shalak the flock needs a shepherd. And the shepherd is. Dawi. So these are intersecting points. On your Dawi. On your Dawi da. Your Sheba, your Khalifa, your, <laughs> your kingdom is returning. Now you need a shepherd. But if you're not observing the code, then 
it's not all, you know, it's all happening. It, it, it's, it's not one possibility that you need the shepherd. But when you are observing and you need your shepherd and the shepherd is there for you, because afterwards shall the children return, right? <laughs> Here we go. We keep the code. We seek the creator first. And David, their king, their con. Now we are 137 of Preston John. Why? Because we seek in Dawei in the uh, Chinese mythos or histories, in the Mongol flow, in the India flow, you know, in the Hindu Dawi flow, Managas. We seek in Dawi in the Egyptian flow. We seek in Dawi in the Hebrew flow. We seek in Dawi wherever Dawi go. Because they all talking David. They all talking Solomon. <clears throat> Shalak, I'm just popping off. All these things. Genghis Khan called himself Dawi. You can't discount this title. Jesus come out, they call him son of David. You can't discount this title. When we talk David, you better be listening. Because <laughs> David is like the gravity to your earth, man. And these intersecting points is when you have returned and you are rewarded. You are rewarded after seeking the creator first, your power. Now you back in code, you KTC and HOE, most high over everything. Now we could talk who over who is pressed of John, <laughs> the function. But now there's a, there's a need, there's a, you know, uh, a necessity for the function to return. And you shall come trembling unto Hawa and his goodness. What's that? Your land, you get your land, you get your breath, you get your security, you get your Zion, your Zion, your nourishment, man. That's the goodness. In the end of day, in the end of days, my life. So what are we in now, man? The children of Israel are returning with no religion just the code no religion just the code no religion just the code and even if we in assimilation we still need the code to sign up you know what i mean to get the advantage or else what are you playing this for just to get your ass kicked man <laughs> is that all you want is israel a homeborn slave is you a homeborn slave what well, is you? What well, is you, man? All right, then. <laughs> it's time to return. See the Creator. And Dawi. I said, is that, is that why they call David firstborn in the book of Psalms? For the dismount. In the book of Psalms, man. Man, y'all could tell I missed y'all, man. I ain't been overdropping. <laughs> I've been in New Mexico, man. We've been talking Cibola, man. <laughs> you can tell I missed y'all, man. So I'm just, you know, I'm going out like this, man. We're going up like this. All right, so the Kanda we. Let's go to Psalms 89. Bring it out, bring it out. For the this mind. I love this song. It's a beautiful song. I will sing of the mercies of a while forever. A wah to all generations will I make known thy faithfulness with my mouth, for I have said forever is mercy built in the he in the very heavens. Thou dost establish your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Forever will I establish thy seed and build up your throne to all generations. What's the argument about about who's the king forever? Who's the Khan of Khans? Prester John, priest king. Dawi is priest king because he's anointed Khan by Hawa personally. I have sworn unto David. There's a personal covenant sworn unto Dawi, and that is forever will I establish thy seed and build up your throne to all generations. Psalms 89 verse 5. So shall the heavens praise thy wonders, O Hawa, thy faithfulness also in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared unto Hawa? And among the sons of might can be likened unto Hawa. 
of power dreaded in the great council of the holy ones and feared of all them that are about him. A wav host, who is a mighty one like unto you, a wav. And your faithfulness is round about you. Thou rulest the proud swelling of the seas. When the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Thou did crush Rahab as one with that is slain. Thou didst scatter thine enemies with the arm of your strength. Thine are the heavens, thine also the earth, the world, and the fullness thereof. Thou hast founded them, the north and the south. Thou hast created them to board Hermon, rejoice in your name. Thine is an arm with might, strong is your hand, and exalted is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mercy and truth go before you. Happy is the people that know the joyful shout they walk. O oh, Hawa, and the light of thy countenance. In thy name do they rejoice all the day, and through thy righteousness are they exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn is, is exhausted, is exalted, shall I? For Hawa is our shield, and the Holy One of Israel is our king. Hawa. Thou spoke in vision to the godly ones and said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David, my servant. <laughs> we just got Hosea three. You can also get Ezekiel 37 and Ezekiel 34. <laughs> Who's the one shepherd forever. This ain't no son of David situation. This is, King David forever. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. Have I anointed him? That's why he's priest king. What other king can bear this title <laughs> that has been anointed personally by Hawa with Hawa's holy oil? My name? With whom my hand shall be established, my name. My arms also shall strengthen him. The enemies shall not exact from him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat to pieces his adversaries before him and smite them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also on the sea. Yeah, President John had control of all the waters, man. All the oceans, man. <laughs> and his right hand on the rivers, he shall call unto me, thou art my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation, my power. I also will appoint him first born. Yeah. That's firstborn bond, my nigga. So I said, when I see these Vesca Pisces with these flower of life, see the lives, these intersection points seem to be like Hosea 3 when Israel returns, seeks the creator by keeping the code, and then seeks this firstborn, right? Seeks their shepherd because a flock, a righteous flock, is worthy. You've earned it because you went through the creator. It ain't like Christianity where you go through the son to get to the father. You go through the father to get to the first born bond. Now you got a shepherd. Now you got the highest of the kings of the earth on your side. You don't got to worry about their uh, vice president, president, this, that, passports, popes, and Vatican. <laughs> Man. You are under the press. You are under Dawi, right? You are with the highest of the kings of the earth, the Rex Negus, my naga, because that represents your heritage, your bloodline. Man, the scepter would never depart from Judah. Genesis 49. Forever will I keep 
for him my mercy, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, my nagi, firstborn bond. Say it ain't what it ain't. We reading it together. This don't go away. This is the highest of the kings of the earth, man. <laughs> In his throne as the days of heaven. Right? Verse 30 again. Allahu wah. His seed also will I make to endure forever. In his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law. Because Amos 3, you, have, you only of all the families have I known. So I'm going to come at you and visit your iniquity, right? If his children forsake my law, verse 31, Psalms 89, and walk not in my ordinances, if they profane my statutes, that means you hate keeping the code. You hate the Shabbat. You love murder, right? You love sliding on that night. You, you love, you know, pulling that trigger, man. You love killing your own identity. You love being a dragon, devouring your own tail, eating your own self. You like devouring yourself. That's what you do with you when you murder your brother, when you murder your sister. You devour yourself. If they profane my statutes and keep not my commandments, then I will visit their transgression with the rod. And here we are in Jacob's trouble. We being spanked by the creator. They're asking us, where's your God, right? What happened? How did you get so low from being so high? Yeah, I see you. I see your pictures everywhere. I see you in the caves. I see you in all these murals. I see you in the Vatican. I see you in the Russian uh, icons, right? But what happened to you, though? What happened to you, Nagas? Why are you black now? When did you become black? And why in a dictionary does black mean wicked? Devoid of light in the Black's Law Dictionary, right? Pale, right? Come on, man. So I'll visit their transgressions with the rod. Verse 33, and iniquity with strokes. But my mercy will I not break off from him. I still got y'all back. I still got mercy for you. No matter what, man. You my children after all. You are mine. Nor will I be false to my faithfulness. My covenant will I not profane. Nor alter that which is gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness. Surely I would not be false unto Dawi. Surely I ain't going to swear falsely when I put it on David. The youngest today put it on David. They say we a house divided. Well, how we show up to this party, not that we've been invited. They're pushing peace and got the code, but they don't realize it. We trying to free up in the system, not that we've been indicted. We've been indicted. They say we a house divided. Nah, <laughs> surely I would not be false unto David. His seed shall endure forever. His seed shall endure forever. His seed shall endure forever, my nagin. What do you mean it's over? What do you mean the war is over? It's about your observation today. In his throne, as the sun before me, it shall be established forever as the moon and be steadfast as the witness in the sky, man. But thou hast cast off and rejected. Thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. What did you do to David? Thou hast abhorred the covenant of thy servant. Thou hast profaned his crown even to the ground. Thou hast broken down all his fences. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that passed by the way spoil him. He has become a taunt to his neighbors. Thou hast exalted the right hand of his adversaries. Whoa. Through these treaties, you exalt the right hand of David's adversaries. 
the king of Judah, the king of Hasharah forever. Oh, you didn't know about suspended animation? You didn't know about the fountain of youth? You thought it was over, man? <laughs> thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Yeah, thou turnest back the edge of his sword and has not made him to stand in battle. Thou has made his brightness to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. This is what you've done to the shepherd. How long, O Hawa, will thy hide thyself forever? Ain't that we asking? Ain't that what Edris asking? Dizzle Fetty, it make Joey Dizzle. How much longer? How long? Can we endure? How much more of this can we endure? You, you don't feel that in any of these days, man? How much more can I endure in this system, man? In this matrix, right? How long shall thy wrath burn like fire? Oh, remember how short my time is. Wow. For what vanity hast thou created all the children of men? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death, that shall deliver his soul from the power of the grave? Where are your former mercies, Awa, which thou didst swear unto David in your faithfulness, Awa? Remember, Awa, the taunt of your servants. How I do bear in my bosom the taunt of so many peoples wherewith your enemies have taunted, O oh, Hawa, wherewith they have taunted the footsteps of your anointed Baruka be Hawa forevermore. Allow Hawa Hawa Hawa. David is validated. He is the faithfulness. You know, the firstborn bond. These are these, you know, intersecting lines. You know. I'm just reading that just takes a lot. Not out of me, but it, it, it you know, just transports you know the 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 best of me man to the highest atmosphere that i know you know uh, how to go consciously you know what i'm saying we rock with the highs of the the cons on the earth plane they want us to stay asleep and stay black and stay negro and stay this and stay that stay an indian or stay a israelite you know you need to be firstborn of the earth man that's your title. In code with Hawa. Natural by law. <laughs> and out to the car. In code with the one shepherd. We can, I think we passed the 10 year rule that a, a 10 year old can get this, that there's a firstborn. A 10 year old can get that the covenant is with Dawi after UKTC. Say the covenant is with Dawi after we KTC. Say it again. The covenant is with Dawi after we KTC. Khan? Khan Jeremiah? I mean, Khan Ezekiel? This ain't no new doctrine. This is your Tanakh. But how they teaching it to us, right? Write out the new test. <laughs> They're giving us another power before a power. But Hawa doesn't have to, you know, or or does Hawa got to keep repeating through prophet after prophet, Hosea, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Ezekiel 34. For the dismount. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Verse 24. And I, Hawa, will be their God and my servant, David, prince among them. I, 
Hawah have spoken. We're talking about the flock, right? Verse 22, therefore will I save my flock and they shall no more be a prey and I will judge between cattle and cattle and I will set up one shepherd over them. Same thing we get in Psalms 89. Same thing we get in Hosea 3. Seek Hawa and King David, right? <laughs> nah, JC. Nah, Yahweh Nah, <laughs> yada, yada, yada. I will set up one shepherd, not two, not three. And he shall feed him. Me. That means you got your Zion. You got your nourishment. You got your, your Zanza. After you get your Hawa, you get your Zan. The same thing. Go through Hawa. Keep the cold. To get your food. Who's going to feed you? The one shepherd. Set over you forever. What? My servant David. He shall feed them. And he shall be their shepherd. And I, Hawa, will be their power. And my servant David. Prince. Khan among them. I have spoken it, my nugget. Ezekiel 37. No, do it with me, please. Because repetition breaks the spell. I'm tired of this. We're tired of this. <laughs> it's so clear. We we passed a 10-year rule. A 10-year-old can get this now, my nagi. You can teach it to your children nice and easy. Just Hosea 3, Ezekiel 34, Ezekiel 37, Jeremiah 30, verse 9. We're going to get that next. Uh, Psalms 89, and there's many more. <laughs> When you see clearly, because now we got the valley of dry bones, but now we got life, right? Hosea 3, Israel returns. Khan, take one stick for Judah, one stick for Israel, put the sticks together. That's the whole moral to the story. That's the intersecting lines, right? <laughs> and in that intersecting line, you got your paradise if you observe <laughs> the code. Verse 24, and my servant David shall be king over them, and they shall have one shepherd. They shall walk, also walk in my ordinances, observe my statutes, and do them. Keep the cold, and they shall dwell in the land I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, they and their children, and their children's children, Forever, my naga, and David, my servant, shall be their prince forever. Huh? Why don't they teach us this in Sunday school? Because it it scares JC. He wants to be the only hero, right? But there's not another room for another shepherd when you have a shepherd and a prince forever, my naga. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. This covenant is about Shalom, not the hijacked peace that has us in perpetual slavery, Papu Bull, 1452, doomed our verses, but real Shalom, where <laughs> Isaiah 14 is taking place, man. You take those into captivity whose captives you were, my naga. That's what they're afraid of. Your covenant of Shalom has them in captivity. But that's natural by law. Love to the God. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will establish it. Who? I will establish it. Hawa will establish it. And multiply them. And will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever, man. We're talking about the end of days. right? We're talking about the new beginning. We're talking about the age of Aquarius. We're talking about all this stuff, right? The year of the dragon, right? It's all happening, but now we're observing, so we're rapidly collapsing the wave pattern on paradise, where we are in need of our Prester Priest Khan. We're in need of our frame or our shaper, most of all. We are in need of our code, because our code differentiates us from the hijack. At first glance, at first frequency, we Liddy. We over here Liddy in Drop City. You know what I'm saying? The covenant of peace is with us, man. Right? But it came through the shepherd. And David, 
my servant David shall be king over them and they shall have one shepherd, my naga. And this is a forever situation. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, why don't they show us this in Sunday school? Why they got to put JC on us when we got David, who's on the front lines, taking on giants for the tribe, taking on the Canaanites, the this, the this, the that, taking on everybody. That's why Moab is against David, right? Yeah, they're against Joshua too, right? They're against Moshe too, right? That means they're against me. That means they're against you, right? <laughs> Yeah, I got to get Psalms 83, <laughs> Confederacy, Jeremiah 30 for the dismount, man. <laughs> Back to Billy Carson, we out of here. Jeremiah 30, man. Verse 8, it shall come to pass in that day, says, Hawah. Verse 7, let's go. For at last that day is great. Yeah, it got some pale faces. So that none is like it. It is a time of trouble unto Jacob. Jacob's trouble. But out of it shall he be saved. Again, Hosea 3, Israel returns. Now you need a, now the righteous flock needs a one shepherd, right? Let's get another confirmation. Multiple witnesses. It shall come to pass in that day, says Hawah, that I, I will break his yoke from off your neck. Not JC, you, you waiting for the rapture from Jesus and the blood of G. I will break his yoke from off your neck in that day. Don't tell me it happened already, or else where's your kingdom? Where's your freedom? Where's your land? Why you need a passport to travel? What are you talking about? Driver's license. <laughs> I will break his yoke from off your neck and will burst your bands, and strangers shall no more make him their slave. Has that happened yet? And they shall serve Hawah their power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. What? He's going to be raised up? Is that what it says, boss? <laughs> how is it possible? Well, how is it going to raise Jesus up? How is that possible? Now the creator can't raise David. But he could raise JC. I, I see some bias in your philosophy. Only one person going to be, hey, I, I thought Elijah's coming back. I, you know what I mean? It's all happening. <laughs> Y'all tripping. Moshe, his eyes aren't even dim. You don't think Moshe going to get raised too? Only JC? Only JC. So here's another witness, Jeremiah 30, verse 9, but they shall serve the creator, right? You go through the creator. You first got to keep the code. You first got to prove to your mama and your daddy that you're listening to get out of punishment out your room, right? Or else you're going to stay in that peace and be getting your ass kicked. <laughs> so you're going to listen. That's the first step is to listen, to observe back to the quantum to collapse the wave pattern on what the creator has planned for his, her children, right? You know what I'm saying? Mama and daddy got a plan. Wisdom got a plan, right? Proverbs 8. Read Proverbs chapter 8. Wisdom got a plan. Proverbs chapter 4, Solomon's praying for more mama, more wisdom and understanding. Mama says, I am power. I am understanding in Proverbs chapter 8. Read Proverbs chapter 8. Allah, why? We popping off, man. Verse 9. But they shall serve the creator, their power. That's the first step. Seek Hawa, keep the code. Hosea 3 is telling you this. And David, their king, Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 34, Psalms 89, got the covenant with Dawi, with my own anointed firstborn. And here we go in Jeremiah 30. David, their king, whom I will raise up. My naga. Yeah, man, you see it. Don't act like you don't. See these letters next to each other? I will raise up unto them. Therefore, fear not, O Jacob, says a while. Don't be dismayed. I got you, you know. <laughs> I will save you. I will save you. Not no JC rapture that they're teaching you in Christianity in the New Testament. I'm going to save you, man. I'm your savior. Isaiah 43. I, only I am your savior. Ain't nobody else going to save you. If I send you a Preston, I sent that Preston. 
If I sent a missile on the enemy, I sent the missile. The missile didn't save you. I sent the missile. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, theoretical missile. You know? I'm just saying. Bow and arrow. If I, <clears throat> if I shot the bow and arrow and it helped you, right, against your enemy, the bow and arrow ain't your savior, right? David ain't your savior. Prester ain't your savior. That dragon ain't your savior, right? Hawah is your savior. I will raise him up. I will save you from afar and your seed from the land of their captivity. Allah Hawah. And Jacob shall again be quiet and at ease and none shall make him afraid. For I am with you, says Hawah, to save you. For I will make a full end of all the nations where I have scattered you, but I will not make a full end of you. To the remnant, <laughs> this flow, <clears throat> this flows for you, man. We out of here, baby.